Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video in this one my friends I'm gonna be testing the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti in Battlefield 2042's beta We're running it using the latest NVIDIA drivers at the time of recording this video which are 472.12 This one is the Founders Edition model of the 3060 Ti and I'm running it using a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM You should get the same FPS if you run it with something like a Ryzen 5 5600X a latest in Intel i5 CPU overclocked as well, or maybe not even overclocked, you don't need that. Yeah, let's get into the game, shall we? <laughs> Guys, I am super hyped for this one. I love Battlefield games, and I really hope this one is good. So let's go through the settings real quick. I'm playing at 1080p resolution. We're also going to test this one at 1440p and 4K. And right now, I'm utilizing the Ultra settings, as you can see right here. This is it. All right, we're joining a server, finally, after like 10 minutes minutes of errors but okay it's just a beta oh yes let's do this massive stutters that's awful and look at those shadows in my hand what the hell oh oh that doesn't look very good i think it's the taa anti-aliasing they use the same implementation as in battlefield 5 and i hated it completely let's start counting our fps and it's stuttering quite a bit yeah, not liking that too much, guys. We gotta try out, like, high settings as well to see if it improves something. Oh, boy! Okay, okay. So, this is 1080p Ultra. Um, usually, Frostbite engine games are pretty well optimized, and they don't really stutter. <laughs> and they get a lot of FPS. But in this one... Uh, a 3060 Ti, which uh, runs around the same as a 20, 2080 Super, um, is only getting 80 and massive stuttering issues as well. So, <laughs> I I don't know, guys. The game is also installed on an NVMe SSD, by the way, so there are no issues storage speed-wise as well. Um, yeah, just find it weird that it stutters so much. Also, DLSS might actually be a savior in this game, since the GPU utilization is actually so high at 1080p resolution, and the FPS are so low. Wow. Anyway, let's try it out at 1440p. Okay, 2560 by 1440, still using the same settings here. Okay, so 2560 by 1440. You know what? If it wasn't for the stuttering issues, which I think they will definitely fix in the final release of the game, it would actually be a decent experience at 1440p. But yeah, it might drop here and there with explosions and stuff, but... Uh, overall, it's above 60 FPS and it looks quite nice as well, so uh, I wouldn't have a problem playing at 1440p ultra settings with the 3060 Ti. I really gotta change the aim down sights um, sensitivity here. The guy's still there. Okay, yeah, there he is. Okay, got him. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what is happening? I'm gonna set it to high now okay let's do default high settings it shouldn't look too different from ultra settings and uh dynamic resolution scale okay, this is not uh the lss by the way okay now it's actually way smoother like wow okay so the ultra settings are broken in this game but the high settings are extremely smooth. Look at this. And it looks almost the same as well. So just play on high, guys, in this one. Unfortunately, that TAA thingy with the shadows is still happening there. But, oh, yes, this is way, way better. You know what? I just set it to 1080p again using high settings because this is how you should play the game, definitely. Let's see how it runs. 90s. Oh, massive stutter. No, please. Maybe it was still applying the resolution. I'm not sure. Yeah, you know what? It's not stuttering anymore, guys. High settings the way to go, for sure. This is way smoother. It's getting a hundred plus at the moment. Uh, there are still some little frame time spikes at times, um, but I think it's it's totally doable like this. Still kind of low FPS for a 3060 Ti. Uh, but at least it's super smooth now, guys, and it, it, you can definitely play like this and have a high refresh rate experience as well. Although it's not 144 plus FPS all of the time, it's still a high refresh rate experience nonetheless. There's a guy there. All right, wait a second. Can I actually... Oh, there's one. Oh, that was really bad. Okay. Let's pick up his weapon, the M4, and there's one. 
Okay, there we go. There we go. Good job. There's still one of them here. Oh, there he is. There we go. Another one down. Wow. Look at those 1% lows as well. 69. Perfect. Perfect 1% lows. Oh, there it is. And that's another one there. Oh, there's a lot of recoil, actually. Okay, perfect. Also, let's see some explosions. There it is. It's good stuff, good stuff. It looks beautiful, guys. It looks beautiful. I think that was a pretty good test for 1080p. Let's stop it there. 105 FPS average, a 1080p high. Again, this is a Frostbite engine. I expected a little bit better optimization. I expected a card like this, or a 2080 Super, to achieve maybe like 144 FPS, at least on high settings at 1080p. Right, oh boy, no, 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 from behind. Let's start counting the frames. Seems like, oh, I, re I forgot. I totally forgot that I had, ah, the sniper. Oh, it's looking so gorgeous here. Holy crap, that is beautiful. All righty. Can I, no, of course not. <laughs> oh, this gun doesn't seem to pack much of a punch. Look at these shots. It's like a, a paintball gun. <laughs> All right, let's start counting our frames once again. We're flying around, looking at the frames. Very beautiful map, guys. All right, I'm gonna drop now. I see some enemies down here. All righty. Uh, there he is. One down. Where are the others? They're shooting at me. Oh, from there. Okay. All right, another one down. Good stuff. Let's move up here. There's another one there. Oops. Okay, he's down. There's another one. Okay, another one down. We're doing this, guys. I think they shot me from here somewhere. So at 1440p, by the way, it's performing pretty well now that we are at the high settings. 1% lows are, are at 58, so that's beautiful as well. Uh, oh, that guy died? No. Come on, dude, just die! I shot him like three times already. There we go. He's dead, finally. And they shot me from here. Yeah, there's one there. Two, actually. No! Ah! One down. Ooh, so many. So many. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna throw some nades there. Uh, thought the guy was gonna die from my team. God damn it. Where? That's it. Here we go. Little stutter there. Haven't seen those in a while. So the 1440p experience with the 3060 Ti is actually really nice. It's super playable for sure. There we go. Come on. Nice little assist there. All right. Probably another one. Yeah, very good. Doesn't really seem to drop that much in explosions, which is nice. Uh, it seems like the explosions are actually optimized, even in the beta. So I just dropped Robot Jack over here. That's interesting. It's a tank right there. That's a, a floating guy. <laughs> Come on. All right, got him. There are enemies around here, guys. What the hell? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, there's ooh, so many there, actually. I could use my DMR now. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's go this way. All right, I think I'm safe here. Okay, let's go. Why is everything so blue? Kind of like Battlefield 3 now. <laughs> oh my god, how are you not dead? The sniper guy is still camping on top of that building. Uh, oh, what? You're alive? Okay. Okay. Let's go down here. Explore a little bit. 86 FPS on average is amazing. 56 1% lows. I can definitely live with that. I didn't really notice any gameplay hindering slowdowns. So if you have a 3060 Ti and you want to pick up this game, do so. It's going to be a really good experience here. And it's going to look great as well. All right. Uh... down there and oh oh no ah <laughs> so that's it for 1440p i think we should try it out at 4k now oh what is happening here four frames per second i'm just gonna resize 
Rivetuner there. What is happening here at 4K? Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe it was still loading some things because every time we change resolution, uh, it usually stutters a little bit for some reason. But right now it's smooth. Let's start counting our FPS. Let's see that VRAM utilization as well. What is this? Pick up. It has a scope. Yes, nice. I want this. Still looks like it's gonna be super playable here at 4K high. Maybe if you change it to medium settings, it will actually stay above 60 frames per second, which is insane, or at around 60 at least. Of course, 4K is a huge resolution to drive, and since this game is so demanding, it's to be expected that the 3060 Ti can't really do 60 frames per second, at least on high. Uh, but that said, it's still super impressive to me that the game is actually very very playable oh my god oh, <laughs> that took a while there i also love that we get this double sprint like in call of duty warzone and modern warfare 2019 they introduced it and i think it's a very good addition to a game like this going up oh oh so that little uh, circling thing at the bottom is just my my guy's ability to show where the enemies are. It shows when enemies are close to us. Look at that. It's red because the guy is right there. Okay, I got it now. <laughs> it's just an old lady there. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> kind of weird to see that in Battlefield, but okay. And we're up here and the guy is already dead. Just picked up this sniper rifle, guys. And I'm gonna see if I can do something with it. Uh, that guy is tagged. Let's see if I can spot somebody. This is a good thing about 4K resolution, by the way. You can actually spot people without zooming in. Uh, missed. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna happen, right? <laughs> Alright, yeah, the, the shots just take way too long. So I just stopped counting our FPS, guys. I think that's been it for this video. Uh, 4K resolution runs really well, as you can see. It's actually very playable. Let's go, buddy. Get up. There's a guy really close right here. All right. Oh, boy. Okay, got him. I got him. Still got him. Uh, there are a lot of them down there. Okay, anyway. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be back with a lot of 2042 videos very soon, testing a lot of GPUs. Um, yeah, first impressions. It could be a little bit better optimized, not gonna lie. Ultra settings, just avoid them in the beta because they're totally broken, as you could see there at the beginning. And yeah, I think the sweet spot for this graphics card is... 1440p high settings if you must have a higher refresh rate experience of course you can lower them to low and get that uh, but i think i will leave those settings for the full release of the game instead of making a really big video right now in the beta thanks very much for watching once again and as always i love you all Bye bye